Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot before it's about time. Today we're taking a look at Tana's alternate timeline levels and with me I've got a big fan of Tana. Hi! <laughs> what be your name, friend? My name be d Rex, or aka D-Money. Nice. You might recognize him from my Crash 2 playthrough and also the Crash 4 launch day stream where we played a good chunk of the game. And we're approaching after this, a level that you actually played on the stream. Yep. You will recognize it. And yep, I remember it fondly. This, this is my best friend, IRL. Just saying. We're, uh, we play games a lot in our own time. <laughs> and he's a big fan of Tom, so I decided this would be the perfect area for him to show up and play through. Yep. So we're going to be taking a look at three levels. This is the first one called Hit the Road. This is the alternate timeline level 2 truck stopped in the hazardous wastelands. I think we played this one on the stream too. I think so. I remember I remember we took a look at I think her first two ones and then we uh, we stopped once we got to I think after we beat the second one? Or? I think we played a little bit of Tranquility Falls and then we stopped. Yeah. After that, I just played the game off-screen and finished it that weekend. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, what's your history with Crash? So, my history with Crash is I didn't really play a lot of the games. I used to have one of the old first ones. That the I first one, right? Yeah, the very, very first one, the PS1. Yep. Which had Tana in it! <laughs> yup! It all comes full circle. Yup. <laughs> and I played it a little bit as a kid. Don't remember it that well because it was on my dad's house so i rarely visited him to play it but i still liked crash i remember because it, it was back in the childhood eras of the good old days of playing just simple game plays for things wow. i don't remember getting to the bonus stages to meet tana but when i saw that you better run we got ctr on the switch and i played her in that and i just liked how she was there she's pretty cool mm-hmm I'm glad that this uh, this reboot era for the series has given Tana more of the spotlight. Oh, definitely. I love it. And I definitely enjoy this design for her. I will always be biased towards her original design more, but this Tana is very interesting as a character. I do too. I love it. I didn't like the hairstyle, but yeah. I like the hair. Yeah, I don't know. If, the hair has always bothered me. I've gotten used to it, but that was the only thing that bothered me about her initial design reveal. Mm -hmm. That was the same thing with me. But I grew to love it as well, because it reminds me of a kick punk version of her. Yeah. yeah, it's a good design. And we're actually approaching the end of this section, so after that, she finishes that wall jump, we're going to actually switch back to Crash and play the rest of the level with some slight changes. Mm -hmm. So this explains why the monster truck stuttered. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I remember when we first played the game, I didn't even pay attention when we got here. Tana actually says, Oh, yeah! <laughs> Before oh. It's, it actually uh, stutters in the original level. And I, because we were talking here in the stream, I don't think I paid attention to that. Huh. I did not know that. Yeah. I have to make sure to look for that out when I play my fleet through of this level. Yep. But, um, the only thing that changes about the levels is the placement of the crates, and in the case of this one, they, they slap nitros everywhere to make it a lot harder. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this level, I died a lot. It was actually really hard to get the three death or less gem. And speak. Oh, yeah. But, um, you could still get the, uh, I think you could still get the hidden gem here if you, not the hidden gem, the colored gem. The green one if you didn't get it in truck stops this is like the only alternate timeline level that has a colored gem option huh. but because i got the colored gem on the regular level i can't get it here but i think you can get it i should really test that theory someday because <laughs> if you can i'm gonna sound like an idiot 
Boom. Chase section. Still good. Still cool. Still neat. I remember when we first saw it. Yeah. That was wild. And I, predi I predicted the the ball rolling being a thing. <laughs> so I was like, it'd be cool if I could roll around in that. Nope. And then 20 seconds later, hey, you can do it. Yep. <laughs> now they'll die. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's that level. Did it no deaths, so you know, gotta flex that insanely perfect relic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta continue to flex those. <laughs> so, this is Potion Commotion, which is the equivalent to Give It a Spin? Yeah, Give It a Spin, which is the level where we first got Akano. Nah. That we got to play with him, because you get him in the previous level. And this level is the worst of Taunus 3. It Just is. saying. It is terrible. And in, for a first playthrough for me, I can tell you it was ass. I hate that line. <laughs> <laughs> for obvious <laughs> reasons, I hate that line. I am, I am no, just unfazed through it. I just like, okay, hurry up, come on, let's go. I make fun of it. The, the reason I hate this level is because there's so many off-screen crates that you wouldn't be able to see. Like, okay, look over here. Right there. See that one? That one I just hit? Yeah, that one kept... I kept missing that one. I This is probably like my sixth or seventh time playing the level in recording. Because I could not find that crate. And I would get to the end and be like, you're missing one crate. There's actually a time when I was missing two. In the crash section, there's a really sneakily hidden one that I don't appreciate. But I've already, I've already gone on about how much I don't like hidden crates. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone that down. <laughs> Just gonna say this level's bad for hidden crates, and that's about it. And we're literally already at the end of our section. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of short, but man, it can kill you. Ninja <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Brio was a ninja. <laughs> well, he is in Tranquility Falls. That, that is true. And this is where we get the second mass. A corner again. <laughs> Definitely my favorite in terms of design mm -hmm. and power up. But his personality is not there. No. Nope. Mostly because he doesn't really have a personality. <laughs> <laughs> he says a word and that's all he's all he does. I still love him though. Yep. Someone on Etsy is actually selling like full scale versions of all four masks. You can get all of them for like five hundred bucks. But they're like super high quality, and I might just get them at some point. Just because I really want to hang them up. I love the mask designs in this game. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite mask in terms of personality? Isn't it Kapunawa? Yes, I love she, her southern way. She's pretty great. If I had to pick a favorite in terms of personality, I would say, honestly, I love Lonnie Loli. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. He's hilarious. Especially... <laughs> Especially in the beginning where it's just like, is that a quantum rip? <laughs> it's so relatable. I like Akunawa because her southern accent just, just fits well with She's me. She's hilarious. She's so senile. Yeah, she is. She reminds me of my own grandma sometimes. I'm like, grandma, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're not even in this day and age. But back in my times, I was like, grandma. Nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> Should be worth noting, though, that uh, this is also the first time we're getting a bonus round in an alternate level. So the bonus round crates change as well, and honestly, a lot of the design changes too, because that wall of uh, metal crates, I don't believe that was in Give It a Spin's bonus area. So these are changed up too. They're actually, in some cases, they're harder. We'll see that in the very next one. They make them a lot more challenging. I've already said before, the bonus rounds in this game are no longer breathers. They are anxiety. <laughs> They're a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they might just be the hardest parts of the levels most of the time. Ah, see your point. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, the level design for Crash and Coco does not change. All right, see that sneaky crate right here? Yep. Up there. That's one of the ones that kept getting me too, and I kept forgetting that was there. Because they sneakily hide the, the bouncy crate behind a regular crate. It's so mean. So rude. Right there. Got the got the Wumpa gems right there. Easy peasy. Those are like the easiest gems to get. Mm-hmm. 
The death ones aren't too hard either because they're pretty wingy with the three deaths or less, but some levels can really test it. The hidden gems are pretty easy to find too. Honestly, the hardest crate is always going to be the all crate one. Yup. They, they really they need to address that in the sequel. Tone down the crates. Please. Stop hiding them. <laughs> well, there's the end of that one. I forgot how short these levels can be. They are very short. Which makes me a little sad. Yeah, gotta flex that and send the perfect relic. <laughs> and now we're coming to what is now my favorite level from the alternate perspective of Tana. Not counting her actual original level. Because, thank goodness, and I boasted about this in the actual episode where we played the level. They fixed all her all her hitbox after all this time. But, Took uh, us this, forever. Yeah, I know. This is building bridges. This is the equivalent to. Oh, geez, what is the name of that level? <laughs> uh, hold on. It'll, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Oh, geez, what was this level called? Uh, I think it was. I don't remember! Oh my gosh! Bears repeating! <laughs> I should have remembered that because that, that name was like ironic to the original Kitbox for Polar. <laughs> it was. Also one of my favorite music pieces. I like that every level uh, that you visit that you've already been to, the music actually incorporates that character's little motif into the music too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because like whenever you play the Dingo Dial levels, you hear that boom, boom, boom. boom oh yeah, boom, for his, for his like giant size. <laughs> and then when you play the Cortex ones, you'll get to hear Cortex's themes thrown throughout it. It's pretty cool. But this level is actually really challenging. Even the Tana section is really challenging because you only get one Aku, and it's it's right there, and it's towards the end of the section too. Not very helpful when you need it really kind of in the beginning. Especially all this electricity. Mm -hmm. Your best bet is to just keep running. <laughs> just keep moving. Keep grooving. Hmm. Huh. And that's the end for Tana, unfortunately. I really hope that if they bring her back in a future game, she gets her own levels. I really want all these characters to have their own levels. Me too. It's a neat concept. I like the idea of like alternate timeline, but I really don't like that you have to basically play the level again with just slight additions to where the crates are. Mm hmm It's just, it's kind of repetitive, and especially when you get to the inverted stuff, because then you're playing levels, let's assume you're getting it on your first try, four times. Mm-hmm. Five times if you're going for the time trials. Actually, six times because both of them have time trials. So yeah, this bonus round is a lot harder. Oh, I actually kept in one of my deaths. <laughs> Usually I edit those out. <laughs> you're not supposed to see those. Whoops. Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. That's not how that happens. <laughs> wait, this was calculated. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this bonus round is a lot harder than the actual one that was in Bears Repeating. And I thought the one in Bears Repeating was pretty challenging too, but it, this is worse. <laughs> but here we're using good old Kapunawa, the time stopping Kapunawa. best girl. <laughs> Yo, Kapunawa! She's cool. She's also the first uh, Quantum Mask we ever got a reveal of. A long time before the game came out. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Yeah, she was showing off in some PlayStation commercial, and it showed uh, Crash, Coco, and Cortex in their go-karts. And Kapuna was following Cortex, and we were like, wait, is that DLC, or is that a new character for a new game? And then it was a new character. And I thought there was a Nitro exploding crate at the end, so I ignored those <laughs> Nitro crates up here. It's nice that you can now slide in the air. I know. It took me a, a, a while to realize you could do that. When you play the original trilogy, you get used to the physics. Mm-hmm. 
Hi, Polar. And how we go. <laughs> this level, the first time I played it, was an absolute atrocity. I did not enjoy trying to get all the crates. I gave up. Because <laughs> Polar's hitbox was... Don't mind him. It's just his Tamagotchi going off in the background. <laughs> I wonder if the microphone even heard that. I don't know. <laughs> Probably because it's all the way on the other side of the studio here. But yeah, this was one of the worst levels I tried to get the insanely perfect relics on. I absolutely hated his hitbox because, like, stacks of four were the worst. Oh, yeah. He would only hit one or two. There was no hitting four. Sometimes he would hit three. It was but, ridiculous. But that was it. Also, spoiler alert, I am going to die. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one tunnel level I did not get a perfect relic on. And it's right here because I, I made a mistake. Oh. Wait, did I seamlessly edit that and not realize it? Oh yeah, look, I died three times. <laughs> Man, my editing is getting good. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I was just expecting it to screw up, but alright, cool. I was like, oh, you didn't see it, but it happened. I just seamlessly edited it without realizing it. There it is. That, that's the end of the three Tana alternate timeline levels. Good times. Yep, good, good. Except for the part where I played Potion Commotion. That wasn't a good time. Yeah, I know that feeling. That was actually a really, really bad time. <laughs> but anyways. D, where can the people find you on the internet? Uh, normally I'm not on the internet that much. I don't have really a gaming state set up for me to record things. But you can hit me up on Facebook under my real name, probably, which would be. Ah! Do you want to give that personal information out? Not really. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a, he's in my videos. You'll you'll see him more. He's a, he's a regular here. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Next time, we'll be taking a look at Dingo Dial's alternate levels. See you guys then.